Hey guys, so today I thought another fun video would be for me to do a Ginny Weasley makeup tutorial. So I am not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought I would give it a go. One, because I wanted to try it for the first time myself to see if I would be any good at cosplaying Ginny Weasley. And two, just in case you guys were thinking about cosplaying Ginny Weasley in the future, this tutorial might help you. So my lighting's not very good at the best of times, but we'll just give it a go and see what happens. I will also be changing into some form of a Ginny Weasley costume uh, after I've done the makeup. So I am basing this Ginny Weasley makeup look on the promotional pictures, which I will just post here so you can see the pictures. Now, Ginny is very natural looking, her makeup's always very natural, um, so, which is good for me because it doesn't really give me a lot to do. Her hair is kind of the same colour as mine, we're both ginger, so I don't need a wig for this tutorial. And she just wears in the photos, I've just shown you the generic Hogwarts costume. I am a Slytherin, but I do have a Gryffindor tie, so I can roll with the costume. Okay, so let's get started. So, first of all, I am going to prime my face with this W7 uh, primer, Prime Magic Face Primer, camera ready. None of my makeup's what you'd call, like, you know, really expensive. I'm not the kind of person that spends a lot of money on makeup. Just because in my everyday life, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, to be honest. I slap a bit of mascara on, a bit of eyeshadow, and I'm done, quite frankly. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I usually just rub this primer in my hands. Like I said, some of the techniques I'm going to be using today, uh, people who wear makeup all the time or professional makeup artists are going to be absolutely cringing. Um, I know I have a couple of friends who are into makeup and into doing makeup and makeup tutorials and that kind of stuff. And I use my fingers for a lot. I use my fingers to do a lot of my makeup. And... Um, yeah, they just cringe, they're like, why aren't you using this and that? So I just prime my face like that. And the next thing we're going to be doing is foundation. And I'm using this Revlon Colour Stay in the shade Ivory. Now this is actually a little bit too light for me, too light for my skin tone. I actually bought this uh, for Faith, my Faith cosplay, Faith from Buffy. And she has a lighter skin tone than me and I looked at a YouTube tutorial online for Faith and this came up and it's one of the most expensive uh, pieces of makeup I've ever bought actually because like I say I usually spend a couple of pounds on makeup I'm not gonna lie I don't spend a lot oh my phone is going off I'll get that in a minute I'll just leave it like that that's the tutorial done bye guys no I'm kidding okay so my foundation is now done I don't know if you can tell the difference with this camera but I think you can tell I'm definitely a lot paler. Um, I don't know. But I'll be taking pictures at the end anyway. So that's my foundation done. The next thing I'm going to do is go over with some Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And like I said, Ginny's look is very natural. So I won't be doing a lot of makeup and there's not much really to do. I'll be using this big brush. I love how, like, you know when you watch makeup tutorials, I don't know if you ever have, but they talk about the brush and everything, I'm just like, I'm using this big brush, there you go, that's what it looks like. End of story. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want me to do some more Harry Potter makeup tutorials in the future, please let me know. It's just something a bit fun, like I say, I'm not an expert, I just thought it would be nice to do. Okay, I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, so again on the camera, that doesn't look any different. <laughs> okay, so I've added a bit of colour to my eyebrows. It's lucky that me and Ginny are both ginger, because that means I don't have to do much with my eyebrows. I know people were commenting when I went to the World of Wizardry in August. I On the Sunday, I went as Pansy Parkinson and I had a black, well dark brown black bob wig on. And because we were in a hotel, I didn't have time to darken my eyebrows. So, <laughs> so I had a black hair, hair colour and bright ginger eyebrows it was fabulous. I mean if you've seen my cosplay photos on my vlog or anything you'll see what I mean. If I'd have had more time in the hotel we literally had 10 minutes to get ready and go. If I had more time I would have obviously um, 
done the eyebrows, but the wig took quite a while to get on. Okay, so that's the eyebrows done. Next up, we're gonna go in with this Scandal Eyes eyeliner. Now, Ginny doesn't wear that much eyeliner. She has a little bit of eyeliner on her top line. I'm not very confident with doing it on my top line, I have to be honest. So I'm probably gonna do this bit off camera because, like I said, it's probably going to go really, really wrong. But we shall see. Now, I have kind of done my top line. Uh, I don't think you can see it very well. It's not great, but I've done it, like I said, very subtle. I've also decided, even though Ginny doesn't actually have it in these photos, I've also decided to put uh, a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline as well, even though, like I say, Ginny doesn't seem to have it, but you never know, do you? So the next thing I'm gonna do is mascara, and I'm just using a brown mascara today. Now, it looks like Ginny is actually wearing black mascara, but if you are ginger, you will know that brown looks a hell of a lot better on a ginger person. So I'm gonna go in with the brown instead, and I'll just do it a little bit thicker than I would have done if it was black. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I just realised how demented I look when I'm putting on makeup. I'm just gonna grab this bit here. There we go. Yeah, I just realised how demented I look. I'm like... <laughs> anyway, so that's the mascara done. Like I said, again, I didn't want to put too much on. I forgot to do eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do everything else and then we'll come back at the end and do eyeshadow. Now if you're expecting contouring or anything like that, then you've come to the wrong tutorial because trust me, I ain't about that contouring. I cannot do it for the life of me. I've only ever been contoured once and that was by my friend, Beth. Hi Beth, if you're watching, you're probably wetting yourself. Uh, and she did a really, really good job actually. But I mean, I've attempted it never again. I should probably have just asked Beth to come down and do this Ginny Weasley makeup for me because it's not going out well for me is it? So the next thing we need to do is lipstick. Now Ginny again doesn't wear that much lipstick at all, in fact it looks fairly natural. So I'm just gonna go in with this palette that I found. I don't think it's branded and I've never actually used it before. But there's a really nice pink colour in here. Let me find the pink that I liked. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to work because I've never used it before. I was going to go in with this pink and then end with this pink. It, it is pink. It looks quite purple in that light. But I've never used it before, like I said, so I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. This whole thing's just one big experiment, isn't it? It's like, let's see what happens. I started using that brush didn't like it so I'm going on to the traditional method. This is the first uh, pink that I said and it's really naughty that I'm using my fingers but whatever this brush is let me show you I can't stand it. This thing. How are you supposed to put lipstick on or lip gloss on with that thing? don't think so. <laughs> so we've done the first colour which looks like this. <laughs> We're now going to go on to the second colour, so that's the lipstick done. Finally, we are going to go back to the eyeshadow that I neglected to do. <laughs> and I think I look exactly the same as I did when we started, quite frankly. Okay, so that's not the, I actually went in, it's not the original colour I was using. I was going to use just that one in these, this is the Maybelline, yeah, Maybelline Eye Studio. But I ended up using this one as well because, well, I just thought I'd give it a go and it actually looks quite nice with the look. So that is the makeup look. Like I said, there's not much to it. I haven't done anything fancy. I haven't given any fancy instructions. This is just the basic look for you people who are crap at makeup like me. So now I'm going to get changed into my Ginny Weasley costume and I will... With the, with the beauty of editing, I will be back in a minute. And you're done. So Ginny wears earrings in the picture, so I've popped some earrings in. 
She has a hair, I don't know what you call those, like those hair clip things. I don't have one of those, so I haven't got one of those in at the minute. I have my Gryffindor tie on, can I show you? Uh, I'm not very good at tying ties, so please ignore how rubbish this is. And I've literally just thrown it on like a second ago, so I've not done it very well, as you can see. Uh, and I'm wearing, Ginny wears a jumper. Now I haven't got a jumper handy, but I am wearing my Slytherin cardigan. As you can see, it's Slytherin and Ginny is a Gryffindor, but because I am Slytherin, I don't have any cardigans or jumpers that are Gryffindor, unfortunately. But if I just bend like this, then you, you can't tell, it's Slytherin. So yeah, that is my Ginny Weasley makeup and slight costume tutorial. To make it more obvious who you're supposed to be, you could also take Ginny's wand if you have Ginny's wand. So I'm probably going to be cosplaying Ginny in the future. I will get a jumper that has the Gryffindor crest on it rather than Slytherin and I will get somebody else to tie a tie for me. I haven't tied a tie since school, come on guys. So yeah, so this is my Ginny Weasley makeup tutorial. It's not the best, I know that, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and as always, thank you for watching. Bye bye!